Hi everybody, I'm Len Friedman. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Wellness Living. Welcome to another video. This is a release video, so I'm super excited to have you here with me. And I'm gonna be talking about this incredible release. It's 22.53, that's our version number for this release. So we're gonna get right started here with the first feature that we're releasing, and that is Google two-way sync. You guys were already used to our one-way Google Calendar sync, and now it's two-way. So what does that mean? So if you have an event that's booked into your Google Calendar, that event now will automatically sync to your wellness living calendar so that folks or your clients can't book you in uh, because you're gonna be marked as unavailable for that particular time slot. And it goes both ways. So you book an event, on Wellness Living, that event will automatically propagate over to your Google Calendar, and that Google Calendar uh, you have, you booked an event over there, that will propagate over to Wellness Living, giving it a, a full two-way sync capability. So make sure that you try that out. Additionally, one really important note is, in order to enable this functionality, you're gonna have to actually connect to your Google account once more. So you have to disconnect the one that you currently have, and then reconnect, and then you have two-way sync automatically enabled. All right, this next feature is all about account balances and those negative account balances and billing your clients. So historically, what you needed to do was if there were negative balances accumulated on your client's account, you'd actually have to bill those clients individually, and it's a very manual, tedious process. So literally, you'd have to pull up your balance due report and start clicking charge, 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 charge charge those clients. Now, what you can do is you can actually enable automatic uh, billing of your clients on those on a set date that you specify. And the system will literally go through all your negative account balances and automatically charge your clients to their default payment method, whatever that default may be for that particular client. So super powerful feature. It's, it's really easy to use and it's all automated. So it saves you, you know, a ton of time. All right, this next feature is for all you guys using Book a Spot. So now when your clients actually select an asset or a spot or a bike or whatever it may be that you guys are, are booking, uh, they'll actually know which one they've actually selected. So uh, when they go back into their My Schedule, they can click that particular service, whether it be an appointment, a class, or an event. If there's an asset associated to it, they'll actually be able to see what asset, particular asset, they booked for that particular service. And they'll also get an email notification indicating the asset as well. So really nice little enhancement for all you guys using Book a Spot. On the topic of Book a Spot, we added some additional flexibility for you and your clients. So before, uh, your client actually had to select the asset first, so they'd have to pick their spot first and then select their available time that they want. Uh, now you can set it up so it could be the other way where they select the time that they want and then the asset, uh, the available assets are listed there and they can select their assets. So a lot of flexibility for, for you and your clients really to cater how you, know, you want your booking system to operate. And that's really what this is all about, giving you some additional customization. Forms has been a monumental blockbuster feature for us. If you haven't tried it out, make sure that you try it out. And this enhancement is for all you folks using forms already, really, really powerful. So currently you can assign forms to different kinds of services. So appointments, classes, events, all of that. So when someone, uh, one of your clients books a particular class, they'll get a specific form that they need to fill out, for example. But now we've added additional functionality and you can send out, create forms and do all of this stuff and then assign it to clients and send it out to clients individually without having them even book a service. So you can use this really conveniently for like things like surveys and things like that. Really, really powerful feature. Make sure that you check it out and also make sure that you read about it in our knowledge base. It's gonna tell you all about how to use this new and improved powerful feature. It's called Forms and uh, really, really amazing stuff. It's two months free we're giving you. So I really encourage you to try it out. Uh, you're gonna be hooked like all the other customers who have tried it. So make sure that you definitely try that one out. Okay, this one is really, really powerful. It's all about power search and we made it even more powerful by introducing visits as 
actual uh, criteria that you can search for your clients with. So what do I mean by that? Well, it's really simple. Uh, before it was primarily like demographics, client demographics, so you can search for names, like ages, uh, where they're located, all that kind of stuff, and any other custom fields that you created were added to their profile. But now you can actually search for visits or number of visits to a certain class within a given period of time, first visits, last visits, all kinds of stuff around attendance and visits. So very, very powerful feature. And you can use Power Search in conjunction with client groups to really segment out your clients so that you can really market to them effectively using some of the market marketing tools that are also built into our platform. So really powerful feature it's called Power Search and we've added uh, visits to the search criteria. So make sure that you try it out and also make sure that you read about it in the knowledge base because it is a bit of a tricky feature and we want you to take get the most out of that feature. So read about it all in the knowledge base that we created just for you. So speaking of client groups, there's some improvements that we made there too. So now you can actually add icons to groups and we changed the user experience or the UI actually for client groups, making it that much easier to use. So you can quickly contact them, you can see you know, which group a, a particular client is in by customizing those icons. So make sure that you also check out client groups. So a common theme with our latest few releases have all been about appointment enhancements that we're making to the software, both on the staff and the client end. This release, we went even further on the staff end, making it a lot more easier and streamlined to get those appointments booked for your clients. So look for that revised UI, uh, reduced number of clicks, uh, faster load times, um, really, really powerful. Uh, so make sure, I'm sure you're gonna, for those of you booking appointments, you're gonna see the enhancements we, we made in this release and we're super proud of it. So let us know anything else you need by going into the community forum and putting in your request that way. So awesome, make sure you check it out. Really, really powerful feature. So Fitbit has been a monumental feature, very, very powerful. And you know, it helped a lot of businesses get through the pandemic, you know, but the pandemic's gone, but folks still love taking classes online, some of them, right? So Fitbit, that's what it's all, all about, on your on-demand video library. So we, we made actually a few enhancements um, in this release. And one of the big ones that we did for Fitbit is actually we have a built-in video converter. So now you can upload different types of videos. It'll automatically convert, reducing latency so your clients can actually see that video. Uh, it'll appear you know, crystal clear and, and quickly uh, to reducing load times and such. So really, really powerful. We're always making enhancements to, to Fitbit. It's just one of those things that we're working on. Uh, really, really powerful. Make sure that you check it out. Uh, it's called Fitbit On Demand. It enables you to create your own video library. Okay, so this next one is for all you enterprise customers that are using our franchise cloud. You know how amazing it is. I don't have to tell you, but we've added some additional functionality. So previously, we've always enabled the ability for clients to visit multiple studios that are within that particular franchise organization. We always had that. However, with Traveler Mode, this new franchise Traveler Mode, what we did was actually enable the customization. So if you're a client in Studio A, whose home location is in Studio A, and you go and visit Studio B, Studio B, can now be configured to see specific aspects of the client profile. So they can see, you can configure this. So you can, they, you can configure this and they see only their name and their email or their membership ID or their or, or member name, email, phone number. Or you can go really far and show them everything, including previous visits, passes that they bought, previous purchases, all of that. So you can actually control what location or the visiting location will see of that particular uh, client. So really, really powerful. It's called franchise mode. Uh, it's called franchise traveler mode. Make sure that you check that out in the knowledge base article and read all about it. So making your software load quicker and optimize its performance is really what we're all about. In every release, we try to make some incremental performance improvements. And this release has some big performance improvements, specifically about the schedule. 
So now you'll notice that the schedule loads quicker and you can make it even load even quicker by this new functionality by disabling certain options. One of them is uh, drag and drop capability. So if you're not using the drag and drop on the schedule where you're relocating uh, or moving classes and then rescheduling that way or appointments, if you're not using that functionality, you just turn it off and your schedule is going to load that much quicker. The other thing that we did was we made booking happen in the background. So if you're doing large reoccurring bookings, those happen a lot quicker. You don't have to wait. They'll be loading, they'll be doing that processing in the background because it's a very complicated process, but it's happening in the background so you can continue uh, doing your work. Additionally, on the schedule, what you'll notice is the way that your staff are displayed will be optimized to your screen resolution. So really important feature, really try to make your the schedule that much more user-friendly for you and load better. All right, so we made a lot of improvements, not just on the staff end or the staff back office, what you see, but also what your clients are looking at too. So we made a whole bunch of improvements to the client web app experience, including a UI redesign of the top navigation, making it much more fresh and easier to use. Uh, additionally, this is a, a really big one, your clients can now use the client web app to write reviews. So they don't have to actually go, they're not being redirected to your directory listing page. Rather, they can do it right within the client web app. So really powerful stuff for your clients now, uh, making them write those reviews, you know, get those reviews in, incentivize them using their, that rewards program that we have. Very, very important and boost your SEO ranking. So really encourage your clients to write those reviews. We can use the client web app now to do just that. All right, so I saved the best for last. It's the Elevate V2 staff app. Uh, it's here, it's been going through beta. You guys have been playing with it, you beta testers out there, a huge thank you. You did a tremendous job. Uh, if you do, anyone else wants to participate in the beta program, definitely go into the community forum. There's gonna be a post about that. But we're so, so excited to be giving you V2 of the Elevate Staff app. It brings a whole host of additional functionality and performance improvements. It's built on a completely new framework. It's called React Native. So you're gonna see a really amazing, responsive app that you can use you know, on the daily. So some of the things that we added uh, in this release uh, for the Elevate V2 Staff app, uh, this one was really highly, highly, highly requested. It was the attendance list. And now you can actually sort the attendance list on you know, who broke first, alphabetically, all of that kind of stuff. The same experience you had on a desktop is now available on the staff app. So make sure that you check it out. Additionally, we've added the capability of adding soap notes and note-taking capabilities right within the Elevate staff app. Uh, really, really powerful. I know a lot of you guys like taking notes and, and using soap notes uh, to do that. So now you can do it on your mobile device. It's very, very easy. There's a whole host of other changes that we've added to the Elevate Staff app, V2. Uh, everything from additional reports. Um, there's, you'll see a lot of new uh, user experiences on the, on the staff booking of appointments. Um, there's just so much more to list. So I really encourage you to go right now on Google Play Store or you go into your Apple Store um, and download that app. It's called Elevate V2. So make sure that you check it out. All right, guys, so those are just some of the big changes that we added for this release, but there's more. So make sure that you read the release notes. They're all documented there. Make sure that you're in the community forum, writing up you know, features that you want, upvoting other features, asking questions. It's a huge, huge resource. I'm, and I'm just so amazed by, you know, all the conversations that are happening over there. I think there's like, I don't know, four or 5,000 customers out there just like you participating in discussions. Make sure you go into the community forum and also make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. And also put your things down there too of what you want to see us build in Wellness Living. I'm there answering all those emails, those threads and questions and all of that in YouTube. So go into YouTube, write a comment, like and subscribe our videos. You know, thank you again for being part of the Wellness Living family. 
This has been an amazing ride and the next release, I promise, is gonna be even bigger than this one. So thanks again, guys. Until next time.